So I'm going to show how to play um, The Runner by Kings of Leon and uh, this is all off, um, it's off their second album, uh, Aha Shea Carpray, that's what it was and uh, it's a good song, it's one of my favourite Kings of Leon songs so I said I'd stick it up. Uh, I think this is how it's played and I'm nearly sure it is, I was trying to figure this one out for a while but I think this is exactly the way it's played. But um, I think there's a few guitars in it, but I just play it in a way that you can kind of play the whole song and play away like yourself and sing it yourself so you don't need like anyone with you. So um, it's not that bad, it's actually, it's handy enough like, there's picking single strings in it and then there's like you slide the A chord bar up to the fourth fret and back while you're strumming it and then an E chord. So it's handy enough like, so for the A chord bar, what you're going to need is just use your index finger and um, bar the second fret of the A, of the D string, G string and the B string. Strum them and, and strum them. And you're going to slide it up to the fourth fret. You're going to slide it from the second fret up to the fourth fret. So you're going to do a down strum on it. Slide it up and up strum, and up strum, then the down strum to lead you back. So down strum, up strum, down strum, slide it up, up strum, up strum, down strum, and slide it back. But we'll get to that later, but that's the way you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> and, uh, the, what's it called? Oh yeah, E. So you're going to have an E chord in there as well, and it's going to be 2nd fret A string, 2nd fret D string, Second, first fret, G string, and I uh, strum all the strings with this card. Sounds nice. <laughs> and, uh, right, so I'll go to the start of the song. So there are the two cards you want to need. And um, the intro of the song, if you never heard this song, you should definitely listen to it. It's a deadly fucking song. So, um, this, so when you're starting it off, you're going to have your index finger, yeah, put your index finger on the 2nd fret A string. If you're new to playing guitar, this is a nice old hand stretcher for you, this will hurt the hand. So, uh, that's always a good thing, if it hurts with this fucking thing, it's good for you, so. You're going to pick the low E string open, so you're going to pick that, and then the A string on the 2nd fret, so. Just like that. Boom, boom. Just like that. So, one, two. Then you're going to hit the low E string open again, but it's just a lead, so it's like that. Then try to get either your ring finger or your pinky finger onto the fourth fret of the low E string. Whatever one you're more comfortable doing, do it with that one. Because I think when I first learned this, I was using my index or fucking in, my ring finger first and then going with the pinky onto the fifth fret, but maybe use your ring finger first to go to the fourth fret, if you're new to the guitar, 
and then uh, either that you can use your pinky and slide it up so <coughs> excuse me so right from the start you're going to go low E A then low E straight on to the fourth fret of the low E like that so low E then A again then you have that under that again so it's one two four fret low E one two hit the low E again like that and that leads to the fifth fret of the low E your pink your fucking index is still on the second fret of the A so you're always gonna have that doom so it's always gonna be you're always gonna have that little beat after it so so open second fret open fourth fret Second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, low E, shit, fifth fret, low E, fifth fret, ah, fuck. sorry, sorry, so. Yeah, so you're gonna go, alright, so right from the start, you're on the second fret of the A string. Open all open low E string and you're gonna go so one, two, three, then put your finger onto the fourth fret of the low E. Very same thing. One, two, three, then put your finger onto the fifth fret of the low E string. One, two, three, or one, two, three, and then you're gonna go back to the fourth fret of low E. So right from the start. Right now from there, you're going to go back to the fifth fret. You're going to hit it, one, two. Back to the fourth fret. You're going to do it again on the fourth fret. And then open. So that's the whole cycle. That's the whole way that little riff goes. The whole way. So it's going to go open, second fret, open. And fourth fret, second fret, fourth fret. Then fifth fret, second fret, fifth fret. Then fourth fret. Then fourth fret, second fret, fourth fret again. Alright, so right from the start. Yeah, so when you get back there, then you wanna go back to the fifth fret again. Back to the fourth fret. Then fourth fret again. That leads out of it. So if that's confusing to you at all, just rewind the video back. Look at it again. Look at it again. So right from the start. Of it. Open, two, open. So the two is always the A string I'm talking about, right? So I'm going to do it this way. So open, two, open. Four, two, four. Five, two, five. Four. Then four, two, four. Or five, two, five, sorry. Four, two, four. Then four, two, four again. And then open. So right from the start.
It's a very good song. It's a bit of crack to learn and play and all that stuff. <coughs> That's kind of the verse. He plays that through in the verse. And then um, when you go into like there's a chorus in it and you go into that, you're going to go to this A chord I was talking about. So um, you go to A chord on the bar and you're going to strum it down. Down strum and slide it up to the fourth fret. The whole, the whole three strings pushed in with the index. So. So one. Just like that. So down strum, slide it up, up strum, up strum, down strum, slide it down. Stays in the same rhythm, so hope you enjoyed that video, lads. Like and subscribe. Thank you.